Well, our live musical guests today performing throughout the show have been Brooklyn's Au Revoir, Simone. Their new album is called Still Night, Still Light. Erica Forster, Annie Hart, Heather D'Angelo, join me for one more final performance and a conversation. You're, they're at their keyboards. They're at the ready. We have a lot of button pushing. Heather's doing a bunch songs. of button pushing, yeah, and uh, making sure things are working. Are you going to play another song for us now? What are you going to play for us? This is a song called Night of Wands. I like this song. Song Thank four you. for those following along with the record. Night of Wands from the brand new record, Still Night, Still Light. This is Au Revoir Simone in Studio Q. performing live in Studio Q. That's Au Revoir, Simone, and the song Night of Wands. That's from the brand new record, Still Night, Still Light. And Heather, Erica, and Annie are working their way back to the studio. Working their way back, back to, to the you, table. Uh, <laughs> the Brooklyn, New York trio, Troika. Troika. Have made it back. I, I like Troika. That. I yeah. like Troika too. It's the first time you've ever been called a Troika. <laughs> Erica, to, uh, to our knowledge. You, you've, you, you haven't played in Moscow yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we call it Little Moscow here in uh, Studio <laughs> Q for some reason. Uh, take, us, uh, take us back to, to, to four or five backwards. years ago, Erica. Yes. Uh-huh. When this, uh, this collaboration began in your living room? Uh, yeah. We, well, bedroom, depending, or living room, depending if my roommate was present. But, um, 
we I played in another band with Annie's boyfriend and Annie and I were like hey we like each other we like keyboards let's do something fun together because you know we have we have we can we had a lot of keyboards too and and um and it was yeah it was it was like fate like I was working on this movie and the this the it was the end of the production and they were giving like my boss gave me all this stuff like this really awesome 60s drum machine and a bunch of keyboards you're working musically on a movie i would no i was working for That's a set a decorator i was like a seamstress and like de- i don't know making like but the movie i was, was shopping really good. It wasn't the one she was sweeping Ferrell. cinders no, I mean I, I can't. Remember. I mean was that, it birth? this one was no. This was something that like never. Okay, whatever. okay. So so you just you two decide that you want to start a band with with keyboards, we, and then uh, yeah. where, where does Heather come in? She well, she was a friend of mine, and it was kind of like a girls' keyboard club, like after work activity, and so she was invited, and she fit right in, and and we started like just playing and and we were covering songs, and then we were writing songs, and then we were playing shows, and it was really weird. Like we we just. We didn't ever really want to even be on stage. We just people. So were you like, did. This didn't start like let's start a band. Oh, this started as just jamming together on keyboards. In fact, we didn't even have a band name until we were Had asked to play a show, and then we spent this whole weekend stressed out, just making like extensive lists of watching what do we, yeah. we need to go, our band. Yeah, watching. Yeah, we're so adventure. grateful to all those people in the beginning who were like, y- "You should just play. You should just do this," and yeah. and they would come see us, and we would sort of have terrible technical difficulties for the first <laughs> three years of the band. And then the vocals are really interesting to me with you three because uh, you, you actually sound, you match your vocal tones um, very acutely. And, and when you're singing in unison, it almost sounds like you'd, you'd be sisters. You know how siblings have that natural mm. natural affinity and people who work in bands together from uh, have to actually try and get that, try mm-hmm. and get what the Pointer Heather's Sisters or the, the, or the Beach Boys. Oh. Do you, do you, have you worked at that, matching your tones so that you sound I mean, like one woman? I, 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 Definitely. I mean, um, you know, like we we like, I mean, there's no lead singer in our group, so we all are singing. So you can't really have one person just having some crazy voice, you know, so like, (laughs) so uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, if if Eric is, you know, more the lead in one song, like I definitely more match my tone to sound more like her, you know, and I know she does it when it's, you know, and with Annie, it's same thing. And were you singers before? The, uh, Heather was key, in chorus. First. I was in chorus. You were in in, cor- it, in chorus. What does that mean? In chorus. <laughs> in middle like in school. school. Oh, I was okay. in a I was in a group called the Chanterelles. Another French name. How funny is that? Right. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I played keyboard and sang in another band, but I never. I don't know. I was in the drumline and marching band. Yeah. She can play timpani, right? It's <laughs> it's something like everything has been sort it's of. We, we started started at everything you know as total amateurs and just playing around but and just having fun. The best bands oftentimes are not a manufactured idea as much as you just fall into it, right? That's, it we seems really to, love yeah. what we do. The downside of that, of course, is that you, you, you met as friends and now you're also business partners who mm-hmm. are traveling every day together. How do, You seem to get along well. How does that go for you? We're, we are, I mean, separate from having voices that sound similar, like we're family at this point. We, we read each other's minds. We like look out for each other. We fight sometimes, but not really. Yeah, we're all really hard workers, and this is definitely our, I mean, aside from our families and loved ones, this is our number one priority in life. And I think the three of us have this work ethic that really – lends itself well to each other and we definitely we're pretty similar in that in ter- those terms but we also tend to fill in each other's gaps what mm-hmm. whatever needs to get done the other two are willing to do it and it we really work well together the adjectives that get thrown around uh, by critics when they're describing your music long haired uh, <laughs> <laughs> well that would be true right? yeah it's an accurate one uh, they're sunny uh, fuzzy uh, upbeat ethereal some of which seems to fly in the face of w- the lyrics, which can seem more melancholy, especially mm-hmm, on, yeah. on this new record. Uh, do you think that sometimes people miss that, or, or that that they that they see the three of you seem very friendly, and that the, the music sounds friendly? Is that? I mean, I think one of the things that inspired me for some of the songs that I've written is definitely the Bell and Sebastian sort of singing a song about some kid getting picked on every day at school and yet it sounds really happy so and it's you don't want to be too um over dramatic with with your emotions like if you're gonna be sad about something why have the music also be sad but then yeah or like morrissey how great is Martin? yeah morrissey. We all love morrissey you know and he's and people he, seem to connect to our songs like in a way that it's like you can feel like sometimes i feel happier listening to a sad song you know mm. Mm. I don't. I always get sad. 
We've learned a lot about you, Erica. <laughs> You're I'm happier twisted. With you. uh, and speaking of which, Erica, you, to learn more about you, you, you guys are playing in Montreal tonight. And yes. I would imagine there's a lot of people listening to the show. Yeah, and there's a lot of Montrealers who listen to the show, and I think it's probably going to be packed Bonjour. tonight. Uh, Please come see us. You, they, I'm sure they will. But but you're literally dri- It's just you guys are in a van, right? Yeah. Yep. So so you're you're driving to Montreal as yes. when this show ends in a few minutes, and and Erica, you're the driver. How does Today that get decided? Am, well, you know, we in Europe we have a very lovely tour manager from the Czech Republic who drives us and takes care of us, and and here we couldn't fly him in. We have a, we have a van that. Um, we use and it's bright yellow like a school bus yellow and um yeah if you see us on the road honk at us <laughs> <laughs> and um throw some dark and chocolate. we just kind of try and like to keep our production like lower key and we have we actually have annie's best friend is going to be our tour manager on this next tour so she's meeting us in montreal but this little leg from new york toronto toronto montreal we're on our own with our lovely sound engineer so you're okay to do the five-hour drive and then play uh, the I have to I'm be. I'm probably I mean, going to feel guilty is what and it take is. over halfway. Yeah, I was wondering about you two, Annie and Heather. Do you Heather doesn't drive. I don't drive. And I'm a I terrible navigator. Right. I mean, I, I got lost. It's very convenient, of, isn't it? I, I got lost coming out of the bathroom drive. on my way here. <laughs> right, so you just sit in the back I'm and read. I'm looking forward to I just, you know, <laughs> we'll navigator. put some good music on and, and just zone, get in the zone. Well, it's been a, a great pleasure having you guys here. It's been so nice. I can't believe here. it's over. I no. love it here. Well, you're welcome back. You're <laughs> Can we have your job? <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> Why don't you go on the road? <laughs> you're some real schmoozers, aren't you? <laughs> oh, we're just oh, being honest. Oh, that's very nice. Well, you come back. I mean, you know, okay. you, we, we're excited about this. We the, the the Q producers, we all as a team, we're, we're really excited to have you guys on. It's a great so. Thank oh, you so much. We're going to really start happy. tuning in. And we're... we're Yes, and not napping during the show. <laughs> I was more intent listening than a nap. I she was a straight A it. student. She was definitely listening. Our live musical guests today have been Au Revoir Simone from Brooklyn, New York, Erica Forster, Annie Hart, Heather D'Angelo have all been here with me live in Studio Q. The new album is called Still Night, Still Light, and for more information, you can visit their website at au revoir simone.com.